Now, Dane has been getting me creatively inspired this morning, otherwise known as Stops. We've got him in full swing, creating um, what is starting to look like a 3D image. This is one of your specialities, the 3D image, Dane. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your background. You don't strike me as the kind of guy who, who started your graffiti path as like an anarchist on the, on the streets, unleashing your fury. You've had actually a strong grounding in graphic art. What, what drew you to this side of the industry, man? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think it was like, at, at the time, it was what my friends were doing. I mean, as a young teenager, you follow what seems to be cool. You've got to express <laughs> yourself, man, yeah. And I mean, I don't even, initially I don't even think it was about expression, but it became the thing that I latched onto and worked hard at um, for some time, so. How difficult is it, you know, watching that, that blank canvas, you know, the cliche, but it really is, the, it's a daunting thing to see this big white open space. Where does the, the mental game start for you? How do you approach something like this? It's starting to take shape, but I wouldn't have been able to even come close to creating something, looking at where you started to where you are now. Um, I, th I think it, it's funny that, that people often think of the blank canvas as the daunting part. Um, I think putting the first mark down is the easiest. The problem is you have to work with that first mark once you get to the second <laughs> one. <laughs> Unforgiving. Now, that's one thing doing it, you know, on a, on a street corner somewhere where no one's watching you. It's another thing doing it on live TV. That's another thing doing it in New York. Talk to us about that experience of going to the home of hip-hop culture, the home of beat-boy culture. For you, that must have been an unbelievable treat. Um, it, it, it was quite a treat. I mean, I've always, whenever someone asks where, if you want to travel, I go, yeah, of course, and they say where, I say, well, New York. <laughs> um, my interests have always driven where I want to go. Um, obviously, graffiti and hip-hop led me to New York. Um, at the moment, I mean, I listen to a lot of jazz, and that leads you to New York, a lot of famous jazz clubs. Um, being in New York and seeing, seeing graffiti from there, it's, it's an experience, but at the same time, it, it's a little bit disappointing because New York has, I mean, you have this this thing called the New York style and it's very much still the New York style, style yeah. the, like 40 years on. Um, but I mean, I enjoyed seeing just the odd marker tag here and there, even though I'm not the one that's running around the streets in the middle of the night. <laughs> he I, I says that enjoy it. because we're on national television. No, I yeah. say that all the time. <laughs> but it also gives us the opportunity to see where South Africa fits into the bigger picture. And it's almost cool to hear that we're not a carbon copy of what's happening in New York, but that we are bringing a new flavor to young artists yeah. like yourself, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's, there's a, a, a difference in talent from here to overseas. There's, um, I think, there's just more overseas imagery given to us. Yeah. So you have that idea, but I mean, when when you see friends of yours that, that perform alongside performers from overseas, you, you reminded that um, everyone here is working just as hard as everyone there, so. Are you guys like a family now? Because you've been through an odyssey together, you and the rest of the crew, man. Uh, well, myself and I, the winners from yeah. the Sprite competition. Um, yeah, we, we get along well. I mean, we got along well from the finals before they even announced the winners. Awesome, um, man. Yeah, yeah, including the, the other three that, that came second. That, um, Dude, well, it's an awesome thing. I cannot wait to see where this is going to end up today. I don't want to break your stride too much, man, but dude, thank you so much. I'm not getting painted over you. That was what a little hardcore, boo. So you try and hide the fact, boo, but we know you're a little anarchist. There we go, the first bump. Okay, get back to work, son. That is Stops, who is bringing us something very special this morning, reminding us of how uncreative I am. Um, now, I cannot wait to see the 3D image that is unfolding there. Let's get back into studio. Something cooking. I'm getting hungry, guys. I haven't eaten anything yet. We'll see you after a very quick ad break with more goodies, more Christmas cheer, a couple more prizes to give away, and a whole lot of espresso madness. You've got just about enough time to go and get a cup of coffee. We'll see you in a sec.